I'm already just so good. So let's start. I got a lot of, well not a lot of stuff, but I got a good bit of stuff. Um, I want to start with the savory and then go into the sweet just so my palette's not all all over the place. So first we're going to start easy with some barbecue sweets. They're um, sweet and tangy what, vegetable chips. Oh my gosh. What type of vegetable is this? Sweet potato, oh my gosh. Does it say that on here? No, it doesn't. I'm tripping. Okay, yeah. So let's try these out. Uh oh. I'm so bad at this. Oh, there's a rip. Cause I'm not, I'm not good at that. Okay. Smells like sweet potatoes. With like a hickory-ish tint to it. They're like ruffle chips kind of looking, like ruffle. I still don't know how to get my camera focused, my goodness. Okay, anyways, yeah. Um, they're good. They just taste like, they kind of taste like what they are. They just taste like sweet potato with barbecue. Seasoning. Pop chips have this new flavor out. This, this is no GMO also. Um, Tuscan herb pop chips, veggie chips. I really like chips so I, I wanted to try out new ones because I usually always buy the same brand. So let's see, oh that's an interesting color. Um, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it's kind of like a weird green color. Mm. I don't know if I like that. Oh man, that sucks. I think I wasted my money. <laughs> Let's try an orange one. They're okay. They're, it's like a weird, it's like a weird, I don't know. They, they just have like a weird taste to them. Like the herbs, the Tuscan herb flavor is kind of off-putting a little bit. Okay. Mm -mm. I also got a drink. This is, um, I've had it chia seed drinks before, but this is cherry lime. I used to hate these drinks because of, um, I thought the chia seed was weird, like the texture of it, but now I'm down for the texture. Ooh, I like that sound. The taste is like super mild. Like it has like a little hint of cherry, but it kind of just tastes like water and chia seeds. Mm. I'm disappointed in this too, my gosh. Okay, next one I'm gonna have to cook real quick, but I got some, oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> this um tofurkey, I think it's new because I haven't seen this before and it's all vegan. It has like a cute little chicken or little chick right there that says all vegan. So cute. But um this is the artesian sausage spinach pesto. I just um cooked up the tofurkey and cut it up so you can see like what the inside looks like and it smells good. It smells like pesto-y. <laughs> That's a thing. It smells, you can smell the pesto. Like basil. Oh, and I got a little spicy mustard. Maybe I should try, I'm gonna try a piece without mustard on it so I can tell you like the true taste of it. So this is just a piece.
it doesn't have like a real meaty flavor which of course I don't mind um but the texture is kind of like a breakfast sausage kind of texture you can really taste the um it has like a basil flavor to it which is really good mmm mm. it doesn't have that greasy you know that when you, sometimes when you buy fake sausage it's like encased in like just oil and those are not like greasy at all and they they don't they taste healthy it's I don't know they're good try them next <laughs> another thing I'm gonna have to cook real quick um these are interesting to me because I've never had vegan fish before so these are definitely gonna be interesting to try they're fried and cooked put them in the pan with some oil some olive oil and cooked them up they got a little burnt on one side because I like kind of just lost track of what I was doing but um, I kind of like crispy stuff so yeah first impressions of smell um, it doesn't have a, a strong fishy smell which I'm okay with because I, I really don't like that smell it kind of smells like hush puppies but okay I'll try one without mustard because I have mustard again and then I'll try one with mustard That's what the inside looks like. Kind of looks like fake crab meat. Um, it's okay. It's still kind of hot. I can get down with this. It's like a very mild fishy flavor, which I I like. And it, it, the outside gets really crispy, and the inside still kind of has that flaky crab look to it. I'm down for that. Yeah. I could, I could eat these. But okay, so we're going to go over to the sweeter stuff. And I got some coconut milk yogurt. I never really liked yogurt. I think maybe when I was younger I used to like those gogurts. And on um, those yo plays, but I, I was never really a big um, yogurt person. But I wanted to try this out. So dairy free, soy free, soy free. Gosh, I can't talk. Coconut milk, vanilla flavored. Let's try. It. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't be immature, Ariel. It's just yogurt. I feel like it's like all over me now. Please don't judge me if I'm like talking and I still have yogurt on me. Okay. It kind of has, uh, it kind of reminds me of like milk of magnesia, you know that? Mm-mm. Oh, I don't like that. Dang it! Someone told me this was good, but maybe, it wasn't coconut milk though. It was like almond milk yogurt. Maybe this is just not a good one. Dang it, I was really on a roll with the good ones. Let me try one more time. Mm-mm. But when you first try it, it's okay but it, I don't like it. And then the texture of it, oh, it's like milk and magnesia, which used to make me so sick. Okay, sorry, I didn't like it. Next. <laughs> I'm excited about this though. Um, this is coconut milk cherry amaretto ice cream. Um, I really like this brand of ice cream, cashew milk flavors are my favorite but I thought I'd try a coconut milk flavor and 
I'm into cherries, as you probably could tell with me buying the cherry drink, but oh uh, god, I have to reuse this spoon with this yogurt on it. Oh god, no. Well, it's not that bad. I might be being dramatic. I don't like that. Okay, let's try this out. Cherry, amaretto, coconut milk, dairy. It's good. I'm not in love though. I think I have high expectations just because the cashew milk um, flavors are so good. I like flavor to it, so that's good. Mm hmm. It's good. But it's not great. And last thing, now this is um, this is something that I've tried before, so this isn't like a first impression. But it, this is um, soft baked uh, double chocolate brownie cookies, and it's gluten free, no GMO, um, dairy free, nut free, soy free, egg free, fish free, wheat free, peanut free, tree nut free. Fish, or I think I said that already. Shellfish. It's free of a lot of stuff. And the crazy thing is, well, for me, it's so hard for me to find um, baked good products that are, are vegan. Because, you know, most people use dairy or eggs to make brownies or cookies or cakes. So it's like really hard to find. But this brand, this is my second time buying these. They're so good. And I just wanted to put y'all on to it because I just like putting people on. So check these out. Thanks for watching, you guys. It's been really fun, and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.